came over the good side, I guess. Um, Jose the Prentice, then your NRHA's first million dollar money earner and Hall of Fame inducted Bill Horn. Some of you may remember that name. After she left Bill Horn's program, she was hired by C.T. Fuller, who owns the legendary Willowbrook Farm. While there, Josette worked with another Hall of Fame inductee and NRHA past president, Dick Peeper. Dick is the man responsible for the development and implementation of NRHA's world-renowned and respected judges scoring system. While there, she also worked with trainer Mario Boisjolais. After 17 years of employment at Willowbrook, Josette opened her own training facility, Josette Conti Performance Horses, and has been training and showing both NRHA World Champion Horses and Morgan World and National Champion Reigning Horses ever since. To date, Josette has brought more Morgan Reigning Horses to national and world reigning titles than any other trainer. As an instructor, she has developed and coached several youth and non-pros to NRHA World Champion, Morgan World Champion, and Grand National Champion status. This evening, Josette is riding the NRHA Money Earner, multi-title national champion, and 2007 co-world champion Snap of a Hackmore reigning horse, Disco Fever. Known as Riley, it's a seven-year-old gelding by the late great reigning horse Twin Pond Disco Kid and out of the 1999 Reserve World Champion Snaffleton Hackmore Rating Horse, Concert Danica. Riley is owned by Cindy Nord of Blythewood, South Carolina. Along with Josette this evening are two of her non pro riders, Ellen Leo and Karen Myers. Ellen resides in Mishoka, Pennsylvania, where she and her husband Joe own and operate Endless Mountain Wardens. Tonight, Ellen is riding her first reigning horse prospect and beloved mare, Disco Patricia. Patty is an NRHA money earner, multi-titled Snap of a Hackamore reigning horse, NMRHA champion, and the 2008 World and National Champion non-pro reigning horse. Patty is a seven-year-old daughter by Twi Twin Pond Disco Kid and out of the great reigning sensation, More Apples Please. Karen resides in Biddingham, New York, where she owns and operates Myers Performance Morgans. Along with raising and training for Morgan reigning horses, Karen is also an NRHA judge, AQHA reigning specialty judge, and USEF small r reigning judge. She is also an FAI reigning steward. Karen began showing Morgan reigners with the stallion Twin Pond Disco Kid. Since his first national win in the reigning ring in 1992, Karen has brought him more apples, please, pay cash, and winter moon waltz with me to numerous world reserve and national titles. Karen's greatest achievement was in 2003 when she and more apples, please, then five months pregnant with the Colts she's riding tonight, won the non pro national title in both the open and the non pro divisions. This evening, Karen is riding the 2008 NMRHA non pro derby champion, Disco Kid. Bucky J is a five-year-old stallion who is also the full brother to Ellen Paleo's district, Patricia. So sit back and relax and get ready to be introduced to and educated about the world of reigning. Give me your hands with no 
resistance. As you can see, I have control over Riley's head and his neck and his shoulders and his rib cage and his hindquarters. And this is all a foundation. You, just as if you were going to build a house or anything else, you have to have a foundation. If you have a weak foundation, you'll have a weak house. If you have a weak foundation on a horse, you're going to have trouble later on. You'll find if you have a good foundation on a horse and you have trouble later on, whatever it might be, you've always got something to go back to. And what I try to teach my people is, when I'm bending a horse and suffering and working on their face, it's my tools. When this horse moves his head and his neck and his shoulders, I give him different exercises to work and he learns the exercises and gets good at them. Those are my little tools I put in my toolbox. And I can always go back to my toolbox when I have a problem and I have to fix something. So we're going to start out doing circles, and I want to, like I said, questions, and I'll answer the best I can. Now, when a horse is doing a circle, they've got to be, what we like, soft in their chin, soft in their neck, soft in their neck. When a horse is looking a circle from a rainy pattern, we lift their head directly in front of them, slightly tipping their nose in, but I want to tell you that I, fit, I find with the Morgans, I'm a little better to leave their nose slightly out versus the quarter horses. And the reason that I do this is I find with the Morgans, and all you people know, they're a little more active with their shoulders, left and right, than a lot of the quarter horses are, or whatever happens to them. And I find that when I use a lot of inside nose with, with the Morgans, they'll kind of stuff their shoulders out a little bit in their circles, and I'll lose a little what we call guiding. We like our reining horses to stay between the bridle reins and guide off the bridle reins. And I find that if I leave them like bending in a little bit, they'll kind of lock down on their bridle a little bit and I lose a little of this outside rein. So I kind of allow my Morgans to get a little straighter and kind of work off an outside rein and I leave their shoulders tucked in just a little bit and I like to keep a straight line and a straight face and that way, I feel like I have a little bit more body control. And I think this is just, they're made a little bit different. They don't have a, as big a hindquarters as a quarter horse has. And I think this helps me get a little more control over my front end. And it allows me to glide a little bit better and to run my circles fast. And when I come through my center, I'm not allowing that horse to get away from me. Everything I'm doing right now, I'm over here on the right He's staying stuffed in to the left and off that outside rein. I don't want him leaning anywhere on me. Anywhere he leans, I want to bump him off. If I drop my hand and he leans to the right, I'm going to be bumping over here to the left. When I can put my hand directly down in front of my horse and he holds his head like that and moves straight, I know I'm doing my job. If I drop my hand down and he deviates any way left and right, then I know I've got to work on something. And until I'm ready to go in the pen, I always want to work on my steering. Stopping is fun, spinning is fun, but if you can't put it together, that stuff doesn't mean anything. And a good foundation and a nice straight horse and a willing horse and a happy horse is going to get you from point A to B. And as you can see right here, Riley is a straight anywhere I aim him to. I aim him over here, and then I steer. I aim him over here. And I steer him. And you can see, I can steer him anywhere I want off this outside ring. And he stays straight. Any questions so far? And what that's important for is when we're doing our reigning patterns, the judge is sitting in the middle of the pen. And we're judged on how straight and how perfect we can do the center of the pen to judge our circles. And when you go in a reigning pattern, you go through the gate starting at a 70. Everybody. And that 70 goes minus half, minus one, minus one and a half, plus half, plus one, plus one and a half. Increments of a half point that you get on your maneuvers. So when I go into my circles and I'm looking at the judge, looking at those horses, I want to see them come through the center straight, guiding good, not leaning on the reins anywhere, and willingly guiding and staying in those circles. And that's what we want to look at when we look at the circles when we're riding the horses. I'm going to have Ellen do some nice big fast circles there to the right, and Carrie can do some nice big fast circles here to the left, and I want them to come through the 
center, and you're going to see these horses come through the center straight and guiding and willingly staying in that circle. After they get going. Ellen's coming right through the center, nice and straight. That's uh, Merle. You want to keep your hand up and you want to give this horse direction. They're only going to go where you tell them. Thank you. 